Greetings. I'm grateful for this opportunity to speak to you about the right to health, which is not a privilege or something that can be adequately addressed by market forces alone. In agreeing to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, all states acknowledged that everyone has a right to access a system of health protection which gives them equal opportunity to enjoy the highest attainable standard of health. I want to emphasize the need to resolutely oppose any form of discrimination. Health-related discrimination remains widespread. Women, men and children living with HIV or who suffer from leprosy or other conditions are frequently denied access to education or employment. In many countries around the world, they suffer similar forms of rejection, criminalization or stigma. Any such discrimination is a human rights violation. In addition to the discrimination which is so often a consequence of disease, human rights violations can often be a factor in developing illness. Uh, far too often, uh, diseases are a feature of poverty and this is particularly true of neglected diseases such as leprosy. We need to address those factors and ensure the dignity and well-being of those affected in order to prevent and treat neglected diseases. My office has been working with WHO and many other partners to make progress on human uh, rights related health issues. Your assistance is essential. We need to stand up for the full range of human rights, including the right to health for everyone, because that is a right and because it is in our very real interest to do so. Human rights build safe, strong societies, inclusive societies with decent values, able to respond with resilience to disputes and stresses. Thank you.